I'm gonna describe my cultural artifact to you guys, and I want you guys to try to guess it. What it is? There's something wireless, and it has many buttons on it. You guys try to guess what it is? Yeah. Is what it is? A game controller. Um, I'm going today. I'm going to talk about how about the sense of video, uh, or the video game culture, and like why I identify myself with it. And it's not targeted for one specific audience. Video games in general are not targeted for one specific audience because they're targeted for many people because there's many different genres. By learning more about my game controller, you guys will have a better understanding of the gaming culture. First, I'll explain why my video game controller represents the gaming culture. Then I'll discuss why I identify myself with it. Back then, the, uh, back then uh, during the 1970s, a video game controller was just a joystick with a one button on it, you know? So it was pretty simple back then. And like, before games, they didn't have, they weren't, they didn't have like all these high def graphics like we did before. So like, people were amazed like, then like, that they were able to control some, a pixelated character around a pixelated mess, because they said how to use their imagination. And so, you know, nowadays, we have modern, you know, thanks to all these advances in technology, our controller, we have high def graphics and our controllers became more complicated. Like, right here, this is a touchpad, it has a mic, and it has a share button so I could like share my videos online from my couch, you know? And then every year, it also represents how it brings people together. Every year, for example, every year they're in LA, I mean, during summer in LA, they have a gaming convention called E3, where a bunch of people called gamers, basically, which means people who play games, come together and discuss their opinions about upcoming games for the upcoming season and it gives people a chance you know to talk with one another and and discuss about the games but it goes farther beyond that because people are able to be themselves and not be afraid and they're able to make new friends you know where they're at the conventions same thing with online play you're out thanks to the internet we're all able to play online and you know we're able to connect with people from around the world and we can you know make friends with them and then I identify myself with the gaming culture because I was introduced to it at a very young age. Um, I remember my first gift was a Nintendo 64. And uh, I would play that every day, you know, on those refreshing Saturday mornings, you know, where I had friends or family, whenever they had the time for me. And that also gave me, my 64 also gave me an escape from the violence that was going around me while growing up in South Central. And you know, and it felt good. And nowadays, as I grew older, I bought newer consoles, you know, to keep up with the games. But you know, every time I play, I get that nostalgic, those nostalgic memories of me being a kid. You know, where I didn't really have to worry about a lot of responsibilities, unlike now, where I had to worry about college and other important matters. And then the, another thing that I like about my video games is that the storytelling. Like, it, nowadays, if they have a better experience, like, it's like a book. You know, like, I'm able to relate to the character somehow, just like of a video game, just like how a person is able to relate to a TV show, to the character of a TV show, book, or another person in real life. Also, like, the, you know, like, the worlds that developers create. It feels like I'm actually, like, exploring throughout the world and stuff like that. And I also like the this like the decisions that I make in the game affect the storyline a bit. And I like and then I see the outcome of what happens and I you know it evokes some sort of feeling for me. Now I hope you guys have a better understanding of the gaming culture and because of my controller. And first I discuss, you know, the history of my controller and like how it brings people together. And then I, I just told you guys why I identify myself with the gaming culture. So, you know, no matter what, if you guys think game, gaming is like boring, it's all right. But, you know, you might see someone around walking around with a game t-shirt or with their handheld console. And then you might even hear about on the news that, you know, gaming, games making record sales. But no matter what, the gaming culture will continue to grow.